At Stony Brook University, we are committed to academic excellence and uh, gaining recognition as one of the top 20 public universities in our nation. The unprecedented gift by uh, the generosity of uh, Marilyn and Jim Simons, the Simons Foundation, as well as the coupling with the passage of SUNY 2020, gives us a historic opportunity to turn our aspirations into reality. The most important asset uh, of any major research university is its intellectual capital. This uh, major gift uh, allows us to attract uh, up to 35 uh, endowed uh, chair professors uh, and also retain some of our brightest stars. In addition, it will allow us to create uh, 40 prestigious graduate fellowships to train the workforce of the future as well as make major advances uh, in uh, a number of areas, including some of the traditionally underfunded areas, uh, including the humanities. The passage of SUNY 2020 provides a, a rational and predictable tuition plan that will enable us to hire up to 250 new faculty members, recognize our strengths as a research institution, and provides uh, $35 million in construction funds. The new funds uh, altogether will uh, enable new and exciting multidisciplinary research initiatives that will help us address society's largest challenges, such as improving quality of health care, also addressing the energy and environmental challenges and national security. The new funds will uh, strengthen our partnership with the community, our partnerships with Brookhaven National Lab, as well as Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, and enable us to be a major catalyst for economic development in the state, the nation, and the world. We gratefully thank the Simonses for their immense generosity. The state of New York, led by Governor Andrew Cuomo, and President Sam Stanley for their visionary leadership that will have a transformative impact on the academic and research and service missions of Stony Brook University. Stony Brook is an institution on the move and the brightest days are ahead of us indeed. Uh, this is just terrific news, not just for Stony Brook University, but for all of Long Island. I want to thank uh, Jim and Marilyn Simons and Governor Andrew Cuomo because so many things are coming together on Long Island. And this falls into place so nicely with the Governor's Economic Development Council awards that Long Island just won. And Stony Brook University is an asset for all of Long Island. And we're going to capitalize on that. And this gift will be a terrific first step towards that effort. So a gift of this magnitude from uh, Jim and Marilyn Simons is unparalleled. And it's going to help to propel the university on the academic side to levels that we haven't thought of uh, in the past. That is going to uh, assist the Alumni Association in getting word out to, uh, to our different groups. And it's going to bring more value to the degrees that these folks have. Um, on the campus side, when you're talking about the uh, uh, MART building uh, and the neurosciences and everything that that's going to help on the health science side, it's going to expand things for the community that surrounds the university and be a true benefit to, uh, to the local community and the folks who utilize those services. I'm Eileen Carpenter. I'm a fifth year MD PhD student at Stony Brook University and I study pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is such a deadly disease because patient survival is 99% um, of the time less than five years. And in the past decade, such little um, advancement has been made in this treatment. And that's why we have such a strong need for more translational research facilities um, to really step up. And I think that the um, facility that is being built here at Stony Brook is really going to make leaps and bounds in terms of the quality of the cancer research that we do. So my research focuses on how lung cancer co-ops the natural mechanisms of wound healing in the lung and how this could result in resistance to the newest lines of therapies that, that are being used in the clinics to treat patients. Um, there's been a lot of exciting developments in the past 10 years, but we've hit into as many roadblocks as we've had breakthroughs. So it's an exciting time to do research, and I think that the new facility that's being opened up in Stony Brook will offer clinicians a lot of opportunities to uh, expand the body of knowledge on the topic. And it's going to be a great opportunity for people in eastern Suffolk County to receive cutting-edge therapies as well.